Hi, this is David McCann for Elementor 360. In this video, I want to look at Marmot Pro. This is a new WordPress theme that's designed to work with Elementor. It's fully functional with either Elementor Free or Elementor Pro. It's different than most Elementor themes because it includes an entire package, not just the theme. Marmot Pro comes with a theme, Elementor widgets, and third-party plugins such as Element Pack Pro. Marmot Pro also comes with a number of free and pro full pre-designed websites which can be easily imported from the theme's dashboard. These aren't just templates. They're full sites much like a freelancer would create for a client. Also, one of the main features, which comes with the free version, is the ability to create templates with Elementor and assign them to your header, footer, or content areas. In other words, a basic theme builder. Please note, HQ Webs, the company who makes Marmot, gave me free access to the theme. There were no requirements to do a review or promote their product. As always, I try to give an honest, balanced review. The free version of Marmot is available in the WordPress themes directory. As you can see, it's a pretty new theme. The pro version is available from the company's website. It comes in annual and lifetime packages. A single site license is $59, unlimited site is $98 a year for the annual packages, and for the lifetime it's $165 for one site and $249 for unlimited. I have here a test site that I set up with a 2020 theme, and the only plugin I have installed is the WP Reset Pro plugin, which I use to reset the site between testing sessions. So let's start by installing the free theme and take a look at what it offers. So first let's go to the Marmot dashboard and let's follow the prompts that it gives us. The first thing is to install the HQ theme extras. And this is just like any other theme, the add-on plugin that goes with it. One thing I like about the guided wizard is that the plugins are installed and activated in place. You don't have to lose your place and go to the plugins directory and then go back and start again. They're using Freemius and you have the option you can allow them to do some tracking or you can skip it. That's up to you. But after you make your choice, then you're back into the dashboard where there's a setup wizard. First thing it says, let's install Elementor. Okay. Now there's an option for a child theme if you'd like to use that. I'm gonna skip that right now. Okay, and then here are the plugins that are required. So we've got two of them installed. Let's install the HQ widgets for Elementor. And these are special widgets that you use to create your templates. So you're gonna want these. So we go to the next step and they're prompting us to upgrade to Pro. We'll come back to this and take a look at Pro, but I wanted to show you what comes with the free version first. I'm just gonna go here and go to the last step. Here it gives us some information and tells us what the next thing we need to do is. So the first option is you can import one of their ready sites and we'll take a look at that. Next is they have some starter default templates that are kind of basic with placeholders to help you get started if you haven't created templates before. And those are available from this menu here, the theme templates directory. And then the harder way is just to go and create them in Elementor yourself. So we'll do some theme building and set up some templates. But before we do that, let's look at what comes with the free version. There are these ready sites here. These are full sites. There's filters here, so let's look at the ones that are in the free version. You can see there are eight of them. So when you click on one, it tells you on the left here what plugins it's going to install. So for example, for this one, it's going to install Contact Form 7, the HQ widgets for Elementor, the HQ theme extras. We've already installed those two. Yoast and WooCommerce. Import the content, the demo content and templates. Import the customizer settings. So it shows you what plugins it's going to use. And there is an option here. If you've imported a ready site previously, you can click this and it will delete the one you previously installed before it installs the new one. I did do this once when I was testing and it worked fine. Over here you have the previews so you can look at 
the pages and templates and whatnot that comes with this ready site. There it is. I think it's attractive. As I said, we'll do one of these in a few minutes. Let's keep going down the list here. This is an overview of the theme templates that you've got assigned and you can create them a kind of starter template with placeholders here if you don't want to install a ready site or if your ready site doesn't have for example a blog then you can come here and install this to get started in building a blog template we'll come back to this page also when we do the theming then there are theme options. So this enable full customization mode, that basically turns on the theme builder. Features and modules, these are all pro. And when you're in pro, then you can install them here. There's pop-ups, a WooCommerce checkout, a dismissible widgets, dynamic tags, which is interesting, dynamic conditions, and short codes. And then normally in settings media, you define your image sizes or maybe your theme to find some. But as a convenience, this gives you the ability to add some image sizes here if you need to. You can enter your license here if you have Pro. These are the plugins that they have that they recommend or that they're going to use in their ready sites. Some of them with this Pro tag are part of the Pro version of the theme. Other ones are free ones from the WordPress plugin directory. Affiliate area, if you're signed up with Freemius, again, an upgrade option here. Yeah, you can purchase right here from inside the theme. Here are the HQ widgets, that plugin that we installed, the free plugin on the dashboard screen. It's just some information and links to help. Here are the core widgets. What you'll notice is many of these are ones you would use in Theme Builder. So this add-on comes with the theme so that you can create the templates. For example, breadcrumbs, navigation menu, archive posts, search results for your search results page, post slider, post grid, archive title, author box, post comments, post content, excerpt, navigation, related post grid, post metadata, post slider, title, the permalink, featured image, post taxonomies. As I said, these are things you're going to use in the theme builder. And then they have a few pro widgets and this one, advanced navigation menu. So if you're using pro, instead of using the free navigation menu, there's an advanced one with more features. That's the HQ widgets for Elementor. I like that you can turn on and off the ones that you're gonna use or that you're not gonna use. And it's probably a good idea to disable ones that you don't plan to use. There's the kind of quick rundown and tour. Let's go to the customizer. We're gonna start looking at templates. If we go into the customizer, there's this red Marmot high level panel. And so this is the same option I think we had back in the theme option area. But here is where you can assign some templates when you create them. This is where you assign them in Marmot. And you see we don't have any yet. So when we create some, we can come back here and assign them if they're not assigned automatically. Okay, and then this is where you can set the mobile browser color. Okay, and then down here, these are standard WordPress ones, but this one here, you can set the homepage template here. And here you can set the blog layout. The theme supports post format. You can set it as a gallery, an audio, a video post, a link post, quote, status, chat, and so on. And you can actually assign a different template for each one of those, which I think is kind of cool. Okay, now there's another thing I want to show you that's going on that you might not notice. So just for a second, I'm going to switch over to another site. So testing site. This is the template area that Elementor offers. With Elementor Free, you usually just have these three tabs for save template, to create a template for a page, or for a section. Now let's go back to our Marmot testing. And I wanted to show you that with the Marmot theme, they've unlocked all of the template options for the different areas. That's pretty cool. And this is in the free theme. Now I'm going to show you the different ways to create or access these templates. All right, let's go back 
and get started here with the theme templates. So you can go to templates, save templates and click add new. And when you do that, you'll go into Elementor and you'll have a blank screen. But what they do is they're giving you a default starter. Now let me show you what that looks like. It's created a starter one for us. We can edit it. We can just start over again, create a new one. Or if we had some other template, we can attach that instead. And I think this is gonna take you into the customizer. This will take you into Elementor with a blank editor. And this is the one, now let's go look and see what that looks like. Okay, and so you see what it did is it created one with a placeholder for the logo and a placeholder for the menu. All right, and so I wanna try to do is let's add an image in there and let's pick an image. Okay, so I've got one that I uploaded now. I'm gonna just insert it. I'll move this one. This is one I just had, you know, from a long time ago when I was doing some testing. We'll align that to the left. And do we have a menu? We haven't created one yet. So I'm gonna update this and let's go create a menu. Go back to the template. Edit with Elementor. Okay, and we can have it aligned to the right. Let's click this and give it a background. Maybe a very light blue. Okay, I'll copy that. We're using it later and click update. Okay, let's exit to the dashboard. Go look and see what we've got. Okay, so we've got our header. Obviously, you could do a lot more with this and style these and whatnot. I'm just kind of giving you the idea. Let's go, that link takes us back here. Let's do the same thing again for the footer now. That's what it's got for its kind of default footer. I'm gonna go and paste in that same light blue color. Okay, so there's our header and our footer. I just wanna show you what's happened so far in the customizer see it assigned them automatically when you do it from that theme template page if you go in manually to create one then you need to come here and pick it from the drop down list of templates all right i just wanted to show you that so let's go and do the blog template okay so i'm guessing this is added the archive posts we only have the hello world one there so we can turn on infinite scroll in case we get more posts. All right, let's exit and let's go back to the theme templates and let's add one for the single post. Okay, so it's saying select test item. I guess this is like the next, this is post navigation and we don't have any other posts, so there's nothing there. This is also post navigation. We don't need it at the top. So I'm just going to remove it. This is where the featured image would go. And you can set the size and whatnot there. We'll update. And let's exit to the dashboard. Tell you what we'll do is I'll add a featured image for this one just so we can see what the template looks like. I'll upload one. Okay. Now let's go take a look and see what we have. So here's our header and our footer. Here's our card for the Hello World blog post. And there's what it looks like. You know, obviously we can style these things, change the colors. All right, so that's kind of a quick demo of the type of steps you'd take if you were doing the theme building on your own from scratch. Now let's go and install the Pro version. So I'm gonna go here to License. I have a license key already. I'll pause the video and paste that in. Okay, so I've pasted in the license and activated it. Now we can start taking a look at the premium features. There's a button here. Let's see what happens when we do that. This is the Marmot Enhancer Pro. So we'll install that. We'll install Element Pack Pro. Again, I like that you can just install them in place here. We'll activate that one. Okay, there are also some options here for sliders. Those are some premium plugins that come with the premium version of Marmot. Let's go to the theme options here. 
WooCommerce isn't enabled because we don't have WooCommerce installed, but the other ones are enabled. So now let's look at the other items that we got. So under the HQ widgets, we now have the pro widgets and under the third party widgets, we now have those pro widgets as well. You can see they have a large number of WooCommerce widgets for creating templates for WooCommerce. So that's cool if you're into WooCommerce. All right, now another thing that came here with Pro is we got the Element Pack Pro plugin on its dashboard page. Like the other one, you have some information and some links to help. Here are the core widgets. There are a huge number of widgets that come with Element Pack Pro. So you can use these in creating your templates or just in your element or pages. These are the ones for supporting third-party widgets. They have quite a few of those also. Extensions for Elementor. They have Parallax, a section schedule. Interesting. Equal height widgets, that sounds useful. Background Parallax sticky section, visibility control, custom JS, widget tooltip, section parallax images, section particles, widget transform. Here you can enter your API keys for different third-party platforms. Here you can enable live copy and paste. So Element Pack Pro comes with Marmot Theme Pro. Now let's go and take a look at the Pro Ready sites and actually install one. So these are the ready sites that come with Pro. This looks interesting. Let's try this restaurant one and let's see what it's going to require. The HQ theme extras, element or element pack, HQ widgets, enhancer Pro. So we've installed those already. Contact form seven, custom icons for element or Yoast. Let's go for it. So it goes through and installs these. I think it takes about three or four minutes. So I'll pause the video so you don't have to wait. That actually took six minutes. So a little bit slow, but here we are, it's done. So let's click go to the home page. Okay, so this looks nice. I like this menu. Here's the slider i think here's the menu okay here's one for reserving a table so that's nice this is the open table reservation system it's, it's really attractive so there's the example of that widget in action here's the menu contact page and then see this is their landing page that they made oh that's nice all right so here we've imported one of the ready sites and that's what it looks like so let's take a look on the back end in the admin see what things look like after this import process so we can dismiss that require some plugins okay i thought we did that let's see what it's gonna require Huh, we've already done that, so we can skip this. Now it says it needs Metabox. I'm guessing maybe this is for testimonials or something. I'm not sure why it didn't install that with the demo site. All right, let's see now. Okay, we can activate the Metabox plugin. All right, so now let's see what we have here. We have an update. Okay, so we can update Element Pack. So let's apply the update. Okay, so that was updated. Let's just go through some menu items here. Huh. So what you need to know about small business plans, card holders. I'm guessing these, huh, these posts are probably from a different demo and include here by accident. We can delete them. I guess this theme doesn't use any of these pop-ups, but there are some templates for the pop-ups, testimonials. So here are some testimonials that were created. 
contact forms there i saw a contact form there on the page so it's created some like for the footer and whatnot so that's the walkthrough let's proceed to discussion and conclusions there are certainly a fair number of plugins to install and steps in getting started all of the widgets have the options to enable or disable them which i think is a sign of a good plugin so that you don't have to have widgets active in the elementor editor if you don't need them before starting, I imagined that people weren't going to get much out of the free version, but I was pleasantly surprised at how full-featured the Theme Builder is. While it's not as elegant as the Elementor Pro Theme Builder, it seems to get the job done and there were enough widgets available for basic templates and then some. As far as I know, this is the only Theme Builder available for free and it works with the free version of Elementor. That in itself will make the Marmot theme of interest to those who don't have Elementor Pro. The Element Pack Pro plugin has a huge number of widgets and a good number of extensions. It's obviously a big bonus to the Pro version of the Marmot theme. I found the pre-designed ready sites to be very attractive and generally to be well put together. There were a few glitches that didn't work and there were some extra blog posts created, but those are minor matters. The Marmot theme is in active development and there may be some changes by the time you try it. I believe they are working on making the installs easier and the documentation and website clearer. It's a new theme, but it already has a lot of solid features. It also brings a fresh perspective because it tries to offer a full build solution. I think this will appeal to freelancers and site builders who are starting out. All in all, I think Marmot and Marmot Pro are something to check out should this approach fit your workflow and needs. So that's my walkthrough and review of Marmot Pro. There's a text version of the video available on the Elementor 360 website along with other reviews and walkthroughs and resources. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching.